Okay, let's do this real quick. Um, I used to go out with this one girl, and, you know, everything was good for about a year and a half, two years. Then, you know, shit got bad, we split up. Then I started going out with this other girl. We can say A and B. So, you know, whenever I have problems, I would talk to A on the phone. You know, and I'm sleeping with B. And eventually, I started sleeping with A and B. Um, the stupid part about the whole thing is when you're young, you don't know any better. So, um, you know, eventually, you know, I was in too deep. Sleeping with all these women and shit and trying to be a player and all that shit is a waste of time. So, of course, you grow up. And what I've learned in my experience is people from the past... They like to come by around and and try to fuck you up, and and I don't I don't mean to say it like in a vindictive manner. In other words, say me and you used to go out, right? We had some falling out, you know, and you know we still remain close for a little bit, and then all of a sudden the relationship completely faded out. We're done. You don't see me, I don't see you. Da, 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 da. Come to find out, I'm about to get married or something, or you about to get married. All of a sudden, that person that meant something will pop up and it's weird how that works when when this person pops up it's almost like they hating on you they, they they don't want you to succeed and you know shit like that happens there's points in in relationships where people you know they don't talk they talk to other people and you know and then the person they end up talking to you know tries to weasel their way in you know for one reason or the other and um and that's how it is with ex in, in relationships you used to be in. There's that person that you, you feel bad for when they're down. But if you've moved on, rather they're down and out or not, it's not up to you anymore to prop them up or to, to rebuild their character, even though they meant something to you at one point. Because, see, while you're rebuilding their character, they're bringing yours back down. Because you remember, you broke up with them for a reason. It's over for a reason. But then when you keep on reinventing a reason for this person to come back, you're disabling yourself from moving forward. So you you got to let it go. Just like you said, you let them go. Let her go. Forget it. But like I said, misery loves company. As soon as someone feels bad and they still got that phone number, they will call you. As soon as their boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or woman uh, man or whatever is sad, they will try to call you. They will try to contact you as soon as they're feeling low or down. The thing is, when you feeling low and you feeling down, you call the one you with. Because the one you used to be with wasn't there when you needed them. She wasn't there when you needed her. They weren't there when they were supposed to be there. That's why there's a split up, there's a breakup, there's no more of that. So when these people from the past come back, just remember, they're coming back for themselves because they need you. They need something about you that they need. It's conversation, sex, uh, comfort, whatever. And yes, the person that you're with, you should be able to just look at her and her eyes and just say, you know, let's just go lay down. Let's just go to sleep. Let's just lay down. And yeah, Laying there is fun. Laying, just laying there. Put your arm over there. Maybe grab some. Or, you know, I don't know. But the past should stay in the past. If you can, by all means, let something go, then let it go. But if it's worth the fight to keep it, if it always turns up and the power is still there, then maybe you shouldn't have split up in the first place. But remember, if you're not happy in any way, shape, or form, that's truly the goal, is to be happy. To find that one person that makes you smile completely. Makes you smile inside. You might be looking like, then you think about her and you're like, but you're still like, Ugh. but you got her on the inside, like, they don't know I'm really happy. So, my little friend, my little sister, you're right. 
We need to peep, teach people. We need to, we need to teach people how to let it go. Because misery loves, loves company. And I'm telling you, um, I work these festivals sometimes when I see my ex-girlfriend. She'll try to stand next to where I'm at or ask me for something. Knowing. Knowing. Don't even speak to her. Hey, hi. Saw her at a bar one night. I'm like, come on, girl. Why don't you be good? Why don't your fucking wife be good? That's why I left your motherfucking ass. <laughs> you... You need to see one of them and keep on walking. Because if you stop and give them a minute, one nano blink of a second or whatever, they will try to bring you down every time. Or salt you up. Man, you didn't wear shit like that when you was with me. Well, things changed. Guess you lowered your standards some. I mean, people say fucked up shit because they fucked up inside. They're miserable and they're hurt, so... You got an ex out there trying to contact you. Hey, you know, um, uh, my man wouldn't appreciate me talking to you on the phone. I got to go. You might not even have a man. You just know you used to have that one, and he no more is your man. So, you know, it's like, hey, um, you know, I got a wife. Um, do me a favor. See, is, you know that garbage can you got in your room? Yeah, I remember that garbage can. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, that one, that one. Put my phone number in that one. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't call me, cause you know it's disrespectful to my woman. People don't want to hear that shit. They want to hear that they still have contact with you. They can still, you know, she might have a man, but you know, we still gonna talk, cause that's my girl. You need to let a motherfucker know if you want to try again, you get back in line, or, you know, you, your ticket is punched. You're done. You've got to the end of your ride. There's no ride back. So, you know, don't call me no more. You have to... We don't shut these people down from the past. They will rot in your future and fuck up what you got. Because um, some of them are only there for that. So, I don't know if I covered the right spaces on this one. So, you tell me about this video. Because I was listening. You be getting me all heated up. And like, oh, she's all right. No, I got to get on my girl's side. I got to do this. You know, and... and yeah, I can't call it, baby. But, like I said, the people from the past try to stop our future because they got dumped in the past. And, you know, hey, when you go from beauty queen to beer guzzling hoe, or you go from, you know, uh, high school basketball star to weed head video game smoking champion, you know, shit people watch and learn and when you grow away from somebody you grow away from them don't let them come back to hurt you to fuck your shit up because theirs is hey, i gotta go gotta drive somebody to oakland ghetto cab is on the ride from where i am to oakland 60 miles 70 miles i'm about to get a hundred and a half for this because the ghetto cab the ghetto cab baby shit the only problem with the ghetto cab is you can ride dirty <laughs> I got to get my money on and like I said um, try to keep the knuckleheads with knucklehead town and you know keep on moving forward cause see moving backwards don't do nothing but slow you down cause there's no progress in going backwards unless you're going back to your hometown to buy it I'm still collecting the money so I can go back and buy my hometown so I'll see you later bye bye I'll tube you later peace out Blah, 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 blah.